Good morning, boys and girls. It's Thursday, the 21st of January, and today we're going to look through the answers to uh, the morning maths questions. So off we go. Uh, for these numbers, for question one, we're adding 61. So 95. Uh, remember, the best way to do it is to add 60 first and then to add an extra one. 95 add 60 is 155, 155, and then if we need to add another one, it becomes 156. Okay, so that's quite a neat way of doing it. Write the answers if you're adding 60 and then add an extra one. 118 add 60, so that becomes 178. That would be if it was 60, but we're adding 61, so therefore it becomes 179. 142 add 60 is 202, um, and then if we add another one, it becomes 203. 174 add 60 um, is, let me think about this, so that's 234, let's just think, 60... So 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230. Right, counting on my fingers, that always helps. So that's if we added 60, but we're adding 61. So therefore, it becomes 235. Okay, so that's question one. Off we go with question two. Uh, <clears throat> uh, take away, subtracting. So 187, take away 81. Well, 187 take away 80 is 107, but we're taking away 81. So we're taking away one more. So therefore, we've got to take away one more from 107. And if you take away one more, you get 106. OK, 417. Now, 417 take away 80 is going to be 330. Now, if we take away 80, it will be 337, wouldn't it? Um, but don't forget, we're taking away an extra one, so therefore it becomes 336. Okay, 526. Now, 526 take away 80 is going to be 400. There we go, 446. Okay, now 446. Um, what do we do now? Now we take away an extra one, so 446. Uh, becomes 445 okay and then 675 okay what I'm going to do is this is a little bit tricky so I'm going to take away 80 and to help me I'm going to put 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 okay so 675 take away 10 so that would be 665, 655, 645, 635, 625, 615, 605 or 605. And then if you take away another 5, so 605, take away another 5 is 500. And 95. So 595, 595. So that would be if we're taking away 80. But we're taking away 81. So therefore, the 5 becomes a 4. So we put a 4 down there. OK, now this idea of using dots to help you take away 10, 20, 30, any multiple of 10 is a fantastic idea. So on your whiteboards from now on, I want to see you. If you're struggling, I want to see you with these dots. Question number three. Right. We've got seven. Then we've got something. Then we've got 25 and then we've got something, something and something else. Right. So seven. If we're going up in, let's say we're going up in fives, all right? So 7 add 5 is 12, 12 add 5 is 17. That's not quick enough, so we need to go up in more than that. Let's go up in tens. So 7 add 10 is 17, 27, too quick. Let's go up in eights. So 7 add 8 is 15, 15 add 8 is 23. Ah, 
very, very close. So maybe it's a little bit more than eight, but not quite as much as 10. So the answer is nine. Seven add nine is 16. 16, whoops, there we go. 16 add nine is 25. 25 add nine is 34. Look what's happening to the tens digit. 34 add nine is 43. And look what's happening to the ones digit. And then, just, uh, there we go. And then, <clears throat> 43 add 9 is 52. Okay. So, 43, 52. Now, this arrow is halfway between this and this. And the distance between 43 and 52, the difference rather, is 9. So, halfway is half of 9. Now, half of 9 is 4 and a half okay four and a half so 53 sorry 43 add four and a half is 47 and a half 47 and one half okay 48 52. yeah that's correct right next use the vertical method 3004 take away 675 Okay, so uh, here we go. Four, take away five. We can't do four, take away five. So what we must do is exchange from this column, but there's nothing there, so try the next one. There's nothing there, so try the next one. Okay, so in this column there's three thousands. So can we have one of your thousands, please? Yes, of course you can. Right, so I've got two left, and that means that you've now got one thousand to put over here. So... That 1 and that 0 becomes a 10. Now, this column is saying, the 10s column is saying, we haven't got any 10s. Can we have one of your uh, hundreds, please? Yeah, of course you can. So, cross that off. This now becomes 900. So, we've got 2,900. Um, and this column, you put a 1 there. So, this number now, 1, 0, becomes 10. And then the 4 says... Can we have one of your tens, please? Because um, we, you know, we, we, we kind of need it to um, exchange. And so the tens column says, OK, so uh, I've got ten tens. And if I give you one, I'm going to left, be left with nine. Right. And if I give you a ten, then well, you've got four there already. So therefore, you need to have 14 um, to make it all correct. So 14, take away five is 9 and then 9 take away 7 is 2 and then 9 take away 6 is 3 and then 2 take away nothing is just 2 so we've got 2329 so 2300 plus 600 is 2900 uh, 75 add 25 is 3 is 100 and then extra 4 yeah so that's correct great OK. OK, and then back to question number five. 60 centimetres take away 505 millimetres. So once again, we will exchange by exchange, really convert. That's it. Use uh, Yusuf's word. So 600 millimetres take away 505 millimetres. Well, if we take away 500 millimetres first, then we end up with 100 left. Yep, that's good. But we've got to take away an extra five millimetres. So what we've got now is 100, but we've now got to take away another five. So if we took away one, we'd get 99, then 98, then 97, 96, 95. So the actual answer to the question is 95, 95 millimetres. And I'm sure you can all see that if you added 95 to 505, well, if you add 5 to 95, you get 100. So that becomes 100 plus 500, which is 600. So it's all working out very nicely. Thank you. Right. Perimeter. Last question. Um, 12, 19, 50. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Th question mark. So the question mark line is horizontal. I think next week we'll do vertical lines that are, that are question mark, just to mix it up a bit. So... The question mark line is horizontal. That means that we can use this line here, which is 9, and this line here, which is 15, to help us. Now what we're going to do is we're going to 
create what looks a bit like a whole part model. So that goes there. Can I? Oh, yes, I can capture the 15. That's neat. And then this one, the 9, I'll bring the 9 down just here. And then I'll capture the 9 as well and bring that down. So now we can very, very clearly see that this line that I've now highlighted in blue, this line is 9 plus 15. So therefore, the answer must be 24. 9 and 15 is 24, correct? Yes, right. So if I put this up here uh, over the question mark right so now we simply oops start there and go for a little walk so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we've got twelve up to there uh what was this oh it's gone it's gone down here isn't it so twelve add nine is uh, 21 add another nine is 30 Add another, what was this number? 15. Uh, so what were we? 12 add 9 is 21, 30, 45, uh, 48, 58, 68, 72, 72. Okay, so the perimeter, you should have 72. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that again just to check because... Um, I'm not 100% sure. So we'll start with the um, in this corner, but this time we're going to go this way. So 24, add 3 is 27, add 15, well if we add 10 we get 37, and then add 5 we get 42, 42 add 9 is 51, um, 51 add 9 is 60, and 60 add 12 is of course 72 so yay we got it right aren't we clever there we go that's thursday have a good day bye bye